hidden away in the darkest depths of Liverpool's World Museum lies a room rarely seen by the public. This room holds a collection of one million immaculately preserved insects. The curator of invertebrates, Guy Knight, has been developing and managing this collection for 10 years. The uh, collections were started in 1855 by the 13th Earl of Derby. Unfortunately, we don't know too much about how many, how many insects we had at that time. During the Second World War, a lot of the uh, a lot of what we had at the museum was, was evacuated, but the insects were one of the few collections that remained in the building. And during the May Blitz of 1941, uh, the museum was hit directly by an incendiary bomb which destroyed all of the insect collections we had. With help from a really dedicated team of volunteers, we've been rebuilding our collections ever since, and uh, we're now one of the largest insect collections in the UK. We're lucky enough to have a few quite old historic collections here as well. Uh, this is a collection of about 5,000 beetles, which was made by a man called Frederick Chevrier, a Swiss entomologist. He came to Liverpool with the, the Royal Institution in 1849. Uh, and then after that, we don't really know much about what happened to it. It was, it was really considered a, a lost collection um, until Bootle Museum in North Liverpool. Uh, realised the cabinet they'd been using as a plinth was, was full of beetles and uh, even better, that was completely untouched since the time Frederick Chevrier had made the collections and still complete by his complete notes. Most of the insects are British, but the collection also contains thousands of unusual specimens from all over the world. Dr Ian Wallace is an avid enthusiast. Here at uh, World Museum, um, we've got about a million insects, colourful, shiny, strange, you name it, we've got an insect to uh, meet um, your expectations. For example, in this drawer here, we have the moth with the largest wingspan in the world. It's 26 centimetres across. And um, one of the other interesting features about it is that because moths rest with their wings flat, then the top part is camouflaged, whereas the underside is surprisingly brightly coloured. Beetles are the most successful insect group in the world. There are 335,000 different species, 4,000 species in Britain alone. But the largest beetle of all is from Central Africa, and it's called the um, Goliath beetle, and it has a lovely Latin name, Goliathus Goliathus giganteus. Isn't that marvellous? And as a beetle, it's quite harmless, but if you did do something silly like put your finger in its jaws, it can snap a matchstick. Pinning insects is a tricky job. It takes experience and nimble fingers to prepare the specimens. And when I retired, it, it gave me a new career, in effect. Um, and I've been coming in here, what, 23 years now. I thoroughly enjoyed it, yeah. If stored correctly, hard-bodied insects uh, will last for hundreds of years. They've all got to be pinned in a, so that the identification features can be seen. Uh, if you can't see those features, very often you can't identify them. It does take a lot of concentration and uh, manual dexterity to uh, actually manoeuvre the uh, insect parts. I mean, I can probably get through, um, actually pinning a set, I can probably get through about 100, 150 specimens a day. Creating and maintaining collections like these is vital to our understanding of the most diverse and successful animal groups in the world. So, if you would like to gaze at these weird and wonderful creatures, then find your way down the dark passages 
to the secret room of the World Museum.